back to English because now we're going to talk to Nancy Friedman from kidbeals.com. So how are you, Nancy? I'm good. How are you? Thank you. And uh, I always say the best thing about these trips are not the cars or like the technology the people you meet on the road because you never know who you're going to meet. And like by chance, I had an opportunity, a great opportunity to drive with Nancy since yesterday. So we've been, we've been enjoying the Toyotas. Yes. <laughs> Having fun with them, right? Maybe more than Toyota wanted us to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So for example, Nancy, she's, uh, you're from New York, right? Yes. And um, So you don't drive too much. No. Um, but have you have a, like a, a little bit of uh, cool stories recently about cars, right? Well, I had a, I, I just recently bought my first car. Um, I've ever, had a car, ever. but it's the first time I've ever bought a car. Yeah. Yes, ever. First time I ever bought a car. I am well into my 40s. Um, and um, it was, um, <laughs> it was a very interesting experience. Um, mostly not in a really good way. Um, but I did, I did end up buying a, um, I didn't even know this was a term, a certified pre-owned vehicle, which I still like to call a used car. <laughs> yeah, that's a marketing thing. Yes, definitely. Uh, so, uh, you said, you said it wasn't uh, the, the most, uh, enjoyable experience. Tell us about it, about that, because it, I think it's, it's, it's very interesting to hear from someone who doesn't have that experience, then goes for the first time ever, and then like gets this cultural shock almost, right? Right. I mean, look, you... There's a reason that used car salesman is a euphemism for <laughs> something know, bad. Something bad, and so you go in there already feeling defensive, yeah. and they know you're defensive, and so it's sort of it's right off the bat. It's this uncomfortable situation. Um, I wasn't going to buy a new car because I didn't want to spend for a new car. Yeah. I didn't think it was worth it. And even in New York, you didn't use it that much, right? No, I mean my 14-year-old car that we traded in had less than a hundred thousand miles on wow. it. Um, so we, um, I just didn't like having to negotiate. I didn't like feeling like if I didn't get a certain amount off, I read yeah. all different sites. So I was looking at she buys cars and I was looking for, you know, women driving cars and trying to figure out the best way to negotiate. My husband's even less knowledgeable about cars than I am. <laughs> um, and so I did my research a lot online about pricing and how much I should be able to haggle and where I could get the money off. And. I just don't like that whole process. I want to go in and buy something. I don't see why it should take six hours. I know. And I guess like because you were training your car, it was a used car. So, I mean, that probably uh, made the process a little bit longer. But still, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bad process. And I think as we were talking about breakfast with some of the Toyota executives here, a lot of companies, a lot of manufacturers are putting a lot of money into trying to ease that that process, which is not going to be easy, I don't think. Huh? Well, yesterday during the presentation, they were talking about how on the new Camry, they moved, you know, the air conditioning over the controls over three inches to towards the driver and they moved some other knob five millimeters to the left. And I was thinking you spent all this time in this little minutia, but when it comes down to it, you have to go in and buy it. Yeah. And that experience does seem to have been ignored. I think the problem is we're sort of expecting to negotiate for a car. We don't like it, but that's how it's always been. So to really change that, to make it this is the price you get, people are going to feel like they're being ripped off. Yeah. And the other thing is that like so many other factors, personal factors uh, that, that make you decide for one car or another. Like in your case, I think you were telling me about your teenage right. uh, boy who is like growing a, a, an inch a day or something. Like yeah, that, right. right. It's, uh, <laughs> he's grown about seven inches in the last year and a half. Wow. And our, honestly, our main decision point was how roomy the back seat was. Yeah. Because he's growing, 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 and he's now he's still like, you know, only growing up, but pretty soon <laughs> he's going to grow the other way too. Exactly. And we needed a big back seat. So, and that, look, I'm sure that I can't be the only person. A lot of people have a lot of kids, so they need a lot of room in the back. That's why there's yeah. minivans. But um, I think that, the, look, they obviously are looking at the whole process. But to me, that's the final piece. That's your last piece of... Yeah, which can make it really a bad experience and like actually turn some co potential co potential customer away from the brand. I mean, like, and it might be one person having a bad day, but like that will ruin that relationship, right? Right. And I mean, it was nice when we went back to pick up the car. They had a big giant bow on it and they made it like a present. So that, was, yeah. so that sort of made you feel a little but better didn't about it. didn't fix everything. <laughs> no. <laughs> so... And Nancy, uh, kidviews.com, uh, that's why you're here. 
I mean, because your site is uh, very unique in, in many different ways. Yeah, we are, Kids Views is the only video review and sharing site for kids. There's all sorts of federal regulations around how you can take and share information from kids on the internet. And we follow all those regulations. So kids are not legally allowed to be on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or all those things that they're on anyway. On our site, they're actually allowed. And um, 90% of what's on the site is whatever comes in, including um, a whole bunch of car reviews. A lot of yeah. kids like when they get a new car in their family, it's a big deal. Exactly. Um, I remember as a kid, the first new car in my family. I like still, I mean, it's like a vivid memory. For it's me. a big deal. And kids are actually big influencers of what cars parents will buy. They have, believe it or not, um, six to 12 year olds have $43 billion of their own to spend. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not my kids. I wasn't part of that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and then they have sway over, you know, depending on who you believe, somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 billion more. That's amazing. Including cars. So they have big opinions. They have opinions about everything. If you have a kid, you know, they have opinions about everything. And they everything. said only like the kids and drunken people tell the truth, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> well, that's, that's actually really interesting. Like when I, we have a review of the Dodge Caravan by like, I think she looks like she's maybe 10 years old, this girl, yeah. and she's focused on the number of cup holders. She talks about the number of cup holders in that car over and over, yeah. and she has her camera, and she shows you this cup holder, that cup holder, this cup holder. So what's interesting to a kid is not necessarily what's yeah. <laughs> going to be interesting to a parent. So we, yesterday we drove briefly the new Sienna. The Toyota Sienna has kind of a cool feature. Uh, the one that you can yell to the people in the yeah, back. Right, right. <laughs> it's the no, don't turn around and yell at your kids feature. Exactly. Um, what is it called? Direct I don't know, something like something. that. Yeah. Um, but you, right, it's basically you push a button that, and it sets it, you can speak to them through the speakers yeah. in the back of the car without turning around and yelling. So How do you think the, about that? How do you think kids are going to like that or not? It's the shut up and back uh, exactly. feature. I think that's what it's called officially. Um, <laughs> um, the quiet back there button. Yeah. Um, I think that unless they see your face and how angry you are, it's not exactly. going to matter. So it's and not. probably because they, they, they also like looking at someone, maybe the iPad or something else, like their own phones. Right. Uh, so they're going to really pay attention if you're like in their faces, right? It is a really funny feature, though, that somebody thought to do that. Although, if you're just to have a conversation, like if you're facing forward, no yeah. one can hear you. So that's... Exactly. That Different. is helpful. So kidviews.com, right? Yep. And you also have another blog and do you some I other I have my things? own personal blog called from hip to housewife.com where I actually sort of chronicled my car buying odyssey. Yeah. And How, you're well, so nice to me. You didn't bring up our... Uh... Oh, I was coming up. I was coming up. <laughs> because yesterday, Nancy, um, we, she's from New York again. She doesn't drive much. She's never driven. Oh, I think you told me you once briefly, in high school. One, one high school a, sh a manual uh, transmission car. So yesterday we tried a little bit, and I took uh, I think it took what eighteen tries <laughs> for like two successful launches. <laughs> but my, you know what? I was thinking about it. My first. My first successful try was only like the fourth time. Exactly, and, and then it took like another 15 to right, do it again. Yeah, I know. Then I couldn't do it again. But um, I decided, first of all, Javier's a very good teacher. <laughs> Second of all, he doesn't really know me, so he's not frustrated. Exactly, I cannot, I cannot yell at you too much. <laughs> right. so that was a good way to learn with a, basically a stranger exactly. who's patient and nice. So, I mean, I guess you're not going to buy it. Well, you're not going to buy a new car like in maybe another 20 years. <laughs> right. And it's not going to be a, a manual transmission car, right? Although, he, Javier pointed out something to me yesterday. You did that because um, my kids are 14. I have twins. And uh, they're already talking about learning how to drive. And I think I want them to learn how to stick shift because then they can't text. Yeah, they and, have their both hands busy. Yeah, I think that's a very good point. I never thought of that. Excellent. Well, Nancy Friedman from uh, carviews.com, thank you very much for sharing our time here in uh, Jacksonville with the new three models from Toyota. And uh, hopefully I can see you again another trip and uh, they have another manual transmission car and we can give it another try, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.